Hi guys, so today we have these two units. Okay, so they are in pair, and uh, this module uh, it is not module, but this uh, uh, unit is uh, actually sends data whatever you connect to this point. Basically, it is for the audio purpose, and this is the power cable. It is uh, you have to connect uh, both side uh, USB cable like. Uh, this kind of USB cable so one will be connected to this and another will going to connect to your like uh, your TV or whatever is the source for the power supply for this thing you it, basically it is a USB is for the power supply and then uh, and then we have this module and so what this is special about this is that this is a receiving module and uh, here we have a lithium ion battery and this is the charger for the lithium ion battery and uh, here is again aux female so you can connect your earphones and anything to it and uh, you can hear the message audio message which is fed from this cable here at this point and uh, in this receiver we have uh, this module mm, so that for the radio frequency I did use uh, uh, let me show you like this kind of module this is uh, NRF 24L01 okay look this one is actually a powerful module uh, this one in which uh, the connector is like in horizontal direction and uh, if you talk about this NRF this one so this uh, don't have any pre-amplifier or final stage amplifier so if you want a great signal then you should go with uh, this antenna one and the connector must be in horizontal position because uh, there is third type of module in which is like same but uh, it don't have that one don't have um, uh, we can say pre-amplifier but uh, it doesn't give a much more range maybe a little more than, than this one because this don't have uh, uh, external antenna so go for this I did use this one and uh, so basically uh, in this module I did use uh, this Arduino this is for if uh, any updation required to the Arduino board or this module so I can update it from the here and uh, in this uh, receiver I did use uh, Arduino the same one we have it is uh, Arduino mini I did use here and then Arduino mini is connected to this NRF and uh, and also uh, look note one thing that uh, these units that is NRF uh, requires 3.3 volt and the range of the voltage is 3. Point, uh, it is for 2.7 to 3.6 this module will work and after 3.6 this ch these chips will get fly over okay so look in this module so this is the NRF processor or whatever we can say and uh, here we have a pre amplifier that is it actually boosts the signal which is uh, we feed you feed to the antenna and here you can see it is a pi network that is there is one two two capacitors and between them there here we have inductor smd kind of inductor and this is a 3.3 voltage regulator for uh, this nrf uh, trans receiver module and uh, this arduino is used to take data from this nrf uh, for this module it is arduino is for the receive uh, to send the signal convert audio signal into digital format for this NRF and for receiver we have Arduino to receive the digital signal uh, the signal received by this NRF is uh, in digital format so Arduino in this module is actually converts that uh, data into audio signal digital to audio and here the Arduino actually converts it digital to audio and here it converts uh, audio to digital okay this vice versa because this one is a transmitter and uh, here I did connected this uh, because previously I was planning to put uh, LM386 for this but uh, after that I realized that there is no uh, requirement of uh, LM386 because Arduino is uh, itself is a very sensitive and uh, here we have this capacitor this capacitor is to filter out the audio signal and its value is I think it is uh, it is 100 microfarad capacitor, 24 volt 100 microfarad capacitor, and this capacitor is for filtration of uh, this LM. Uh, this is uh, 3 voltage regulator for, and for 3 voltage regulator, I did use 7833. And uh, here we have two capacitor. One is electrolytic, 
and one is the 104 i think it is one nanofarad capacitor both are connected to the power supply for this nrf this capacitor is because if there is a like nrf actually trans if it transmitted a high power just for instant so this capacitor will provide ex extra current and uh, this small capacitor is required for high frequency purpose if there is a easy ac current leakage to this uh, module so it will actually shot down that high frequency signal so this is that and uh, that's it now i will turn them on and i will show you how they work so for this uh, to check them now first i will connect my transmitter And uh, I am going to use my power bank for power supply of my transmitter. Okay, now as the transmitter is on, so this light actually glow, little glow, not too, too bright. And we're going to connect our aux cable. I just connect it and uh, we will put our antenna like this and uh, okay one more thing is the advantage of these modules is that this is this uses a 2.4 gigahertz nrf and uh, it, it it got 20, 126 channel and each channel have uh, one megahertz differences in frequency with respect to other channel so that's a great because you are not going to get interference with your Wi-Fi or a kind of thing and um, the advantage of using high frequency is that uh, these high frequency is actually capable to penetrate uh, lots of things like uh, it can like it can actually uh, penetrate uh, so the advantages of high frequency I, as I told uh, it can penetrate a lot of things like uh, a window or walls and many much more concrete walls it can penetrate then now I'm going to connect this aux cable the other end of the my aux cable to my mobile phone it will go there and uh, okay so here we have our song ready for playing okay now we are going to uh, this receiver connect over this is a receiver to our stereo okay so here we have it is connected to our amplifier okay so we will put this to this um, output of uh, my receiver this audio output of the receiver now i'm going to turn this on so as i'm going to as soon as i'm going to turn this on so you will see a red led okay now look it's red led so now this is on and uh, it is connected to the amplifier i will play the song okay well Noise. Really no noise. Okay, there is some uh, no problem. Okay, so the problem is that uh, as uh, this module is consumes uh, because we are not playing any song at the time, so this module consumes a uh, very low power. So our battery bank is automatically uh, shut down. So now we are going to turn. I turn the battery bank on. And now look, we can hear the song. Okay, this and the, is this one is real time. We can play any song. Okay. The voice quality is also pretty good. And uh, if we talk about the range of uh, this transmitter, so 
uh, if you see the we can say data sheet of this transmitter so its range will be up to 1 kilometers but as we are sending continuous data we are not sending packets of data so uh, we can achieve something around uh, for my experiment purpose I did achieve uh, 250 to 350 meters not 350 but uh, 250 to 300 meters of range in uh, if there are some houses and uh, not uh, too much urban but okay with three four house it can penetrate and uh, will go something around uh, 250 to 300 meters uh, and uh, the voice quality will drop drastically as you increase the range afterwards and uh, that's good so this is and if you require if you want uh, the circuit diagram or you want to uh, you want me to make a video for the circuit diagram or uh, let me close this i don't know how to close this but i will take the aux out so it will close okay. so if you want me to uh, if you require a circuit diagram of this uh, module and uh, the program for uh, this module so you can comment me I will make a separate video for it in which I will only show the circuit diagram as well as the program uh, Arduino code for uh, this and that's it and please like share subscribe so I can make much more videos